Hi guys, I'm Laurie Vitale and on this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I'm going to indulge in one of my favorite, favorite sandwiches. It is a Monte Cristo. It's so easy to make. It's like turkey and cheese meets French toast equals amazingness. I love this sandwich and I made a croquemont sir a while ago and in that sandwich I was telling you guys that you need to a lot of people think it's the same thing, but it's really not. So I wanted to share you my Monte Cristo because a lot of you wanted to see it since I showed you that one. So let's get into it. You're going to need very basic ingredients, but get good quality because it makes a difference. This is just white sandwich bread. I prefer a white sandwich bread over any other bread for this. It's just what I prefer, so that's what I'm using. I also have some deli roasted turkey, and this is some shredded gouda. You can use sliced gouda or some Swiss if you want to. I'm choosing shredded because I think it melts easier. I've got some whole milk, some mayo, and some just prepared mustard, just some yellow mustard, butter, eggs, and some seasoned salt. I also have some vegetable oil here in my pan. I'm gonna get that in the skillet so that it's ready and out of the way. Now I am ready to get everything kind of assembled. You wanna make your custard first, what you're gonna dip the sandwich in. And that is just the eggs, the seasoned salt. If you don't have seasoned salt, just use salt and pepper and then just a pinch of uh, paprika. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk and I'm gonna whisk these together just to combine. Now, you, this amount of liquid, this amount of batter will make more than two sandwiches, but for right now, I'm gonna show you two, and then I'll use the remaining for a couple more. So get that really mixed well. Great, set that aside. Mix together your mayo and prepared yellow mustard. I like a little bit of mayo. Some people don't put any. I just think it adds a lovely little note of almost something tangy, and I love the yellow mustard in there. I think it's a must for me, and just keep in mind that this is just my version of this classic. Just give that a really good mix. Okay, and once you have those ready, you are ready to assemble your sandwich. Now, some people just do two pieces of bread. Now, I am a born carboholic. I can't help myself, okay? I went five days without eating pasta last week. It's like I almost didn't survive. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know why I look like T-Rex right now. <laughs> I feel like T-Rex with my hands. <laughs> Point is, you can make this with two slices of white bread. Am I red? I'm probably really red. You can make this with two slices of bread. I like to go for three slices of bread per sandwich because I think that is the ultimate Monte Cristo. So I'm going to show you how to assemble it. Because I think assemb like the way you have to assemble it is kind of crucial to getting this to be melty and delicious and phenomenal. So, you got your three slices of bread. Some people cut off the crust. I don't go for that nonsense. I like the crust. I like the little crunch from it. Take some of your mayo and mustard mixture. You do not need a whole lot. You need maybe like a teaspoon or so. And you do that on two slices of bread, like this. Then, on the first slice, you must start with the cheese. We're starting with the cheese because the cheese is what's going to help the sandwich stay together on both sides. So so one slice here, a little bit of cheese, and you can of course use sliced cheese. It is a little bit easier, but I just think melted, uh, shredded melts a little bit better. So that's why I'm using my own shredded Gouda. So you've got your cheese at the base. You top that with your turkey, because now what you're doing is the bread is gonna stick to the cheese because the cheese is gonna melt. I'm hoping that that makes sense. A couple slices of turkey, it really all depends on how big your slices of turkey are. These are quite gigantic, so I'm just kind of ripping them up. So you got that, right? Then you take this baby and you repeat kind of the same thing. You repeat it, but take just a little bit. Do you see like a little bit of the cheese? A little bit, like a teaspoon or so? This time, however, you're gonna start with the turkey first because the cheese is what's gonna help the top stay on. Am I making sense? You just watch. This time you start with the turkey, like so. And you can use ham here, you could use ham and turkey. I prefer the turkey, I think ham goes with a croque monsieur. Something so fancy today, okay? And then the cheese goes on top of the turkey because the cheese is what's gonna help the top layer of the bread stick on. When it's all melted together and heated, it's perfection. And I just like to do a little teeny tiny, tiny bit more of the mustard and mayo, just like that, not a lot. 
like so. That's how I like it. That way I'm ensuring that the cheese is holding everything together. Give it all just a gentle press, kind of tuck everything in, and you have one done. We're going to do another one, and then we'll get them cooking. Got my second sandwich assembled, and now it's time to cook them. Some people like to put them in the fridge at this point, once they're assembled, they like to put them in the fridge to set for a bit. I just don't think that's necessary, to be honest with you. This is just a kicked up grilled cheese, so I don't do that. I mean, I don't... If it doesn't really make that much of a difference, I skip the next that step. That's just kind of how I roll in cooking and in life. I've got my vegetable oil here heating up over about medium heat. I'm going to add my butter. These need to cook in a good amount of fat because they give the beautiful color and texture that you're looking for. So don't skimp on that. It's very important. And I do about one tablespoon of vegetable oil to two tablespoons of unsalted butter because I love the buttery flavor mixed with the egg from the outside of the bread, if that makes sense. And I don't want to get this too high. I don't want the heat to be too high. I want the heat to be about medium, because if it's any hotter, what will happen is the outside will get cooked really quickly, and the inside won't be fully cooked yet, and the cheese won't be fully melted. So medium heat works perfectly. This is looking good. The butter is melting. So by the time the butter is melted, I'm ready to add my sandwich. And this is how it goes. It's really simple and really, really easy. You take your sandwich, you use a shallow bowl, you dip it on both sides in the egg mixture, and it soaks up the bread, it soaks up the mixture pretty quickly, and then you put it right in. Give it a little pat down, and then you just let them cook for a good three to four minutes on each side, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. And it, they smell already incredible. It's amazing. And look how much of that custard it soaks up. Look at that. I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. What you're thinking is, that third slice just made it. And it did. <laughs> well, I have two slices when you're going to have three. And I like to kind of pat these um, on a paper towel, you know, on just a paper towel. I lined my plate with some paper towels and just kind of soak up the excess fat like that. I certainly don't do it perfectly, but take a second and do that. Oh, come to mama. Is that a delight or is that a delight? Look at that. That cheese is gorgeous. Mm. It is just like, I don't even know. It's hot. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. If you've never had a Monte Cristo, just do it. Do yourself a favor, make it because it will shock you with how good it is. It's simple and it's easy, but this with a simple green salad makes for like the best, most delicious, indulging lunch. You will, or dinner, you will love it. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com, get this recipe. Let me know down below other sandwiches that you would like to see made here and thumbs up this video for T-Rex. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!